Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Prepare parts for assembly. Using clean water and detergent or high pressure air, remove dirt, grit, oil and contaminants from the ram bore, ram change piston holes, bonnet bolt holes, all fluid passageways in the body and the intermediate flange. Next use clean water and detergent to clean all internal surfaces of the bonnets, then lubricate all of the internal sealing surfaces. Also use clean water and detergent to clean the pistons and cylinders, then lubricate all areas that will come in contact with other parts. Assemble the bonnet and intermediate flange components. First place the bonnet on a stand or a pallet with the bore side up. Install the tail rod lip seal and the wiping o-ring in the bonnet. Place the ram change piston to intermediate flange o-rings and the ram change piston to body o-rings on both the ram change pistons. Next install the ram change cylinders into the bonnet. Insert the assembled ram change pistons into the bonnet, placing the pistons with side holes on the open side and the pistons with center holes on the closed side. Note that the pistons are stamped for ease of identification and are not interchangeable. Protect the threaded end of the ram change pistons to prevent thread damage or accumulation of debris. Place the operating cylinder o-rings on the operating cylinder. Then insert the operating cylinder into the bonnet bore. The last bonnet component to be assembled is the operating piston. Install the appropriate wear or seal rings and insert the piston into the bonnet. Old style pistons use only a single o-ring. Newer pistons use both a seal ring and a wear ring. During maintenance or repair, old style pistons may be upgraded to the newer seal configuration. Once bonnet assembly is complete, install the intermediate flange seals. First, place the intermediate flange on a clean work surface. Install the seals on the intermediate flange to body side of the flange in this order. First, install the plastic packing energizing ring. Then the plastic packing seal, backup rings, connecting rod lip seal, washer, and the Spiralox retaining ring. On the opposite side, install the operating piston rod to intermediate flange O-ring on the intermediate flange to bonnet side of the flange. Conclude seal installation by installing the ram change piston to intermediate flange o-ring.
First, install the plastic packing energizing ring. Then, the plastic packing seal, backup rings, connecting rod lip seal, washer, and the Spiralox retaining ring. On the opposite side, install the operating piston rod to intermediate flange O-ring on the intermediate flange to bonnet side of the flange. Conclude seal installation by installing the ram change piston to intermediate flange O-ring. Install the intermediate flange onto the bonnet making sure that the plastic packing port on the intermediate flange is on the same side of the assembly as the lifting eye hole on the bonnet. Install the cap screws through the bottom side of the intermediate flange and into the bonnet. Tighten the cap screws using an alternating torque pattern. Use caution to ensure none of the seals are damaged during cap screw tightening. Four, install plastic packing and the bleeder gland. Screw the plastic packing check valve all the way into the preparation in the intermediate flange. Insert one stick of plastic packing above the check valve and install the plastic packing screw. Do not apply any torque to the plastic packing screw. Install a 1 inch NPT pipe plug to close the hole. Next, install the bleeder gland and plug into the bonnet. Step 5. Using a sling, hoist the bonnet assembly into position next to the body. When the bonnet is in position, thread the ram change pistons into the body and tighten them securely against the body using a wrench against the flats provided. Do not use a pipe wrench. Be sure that the open and closed pistons are in the appropriate position with respect to the body. Bonnet bolts, locking screw, and housing. Insert the bonnet bolts through the bonnet and intermediate flange, then push the bonnet bolt O-rings over the bonnet bolt threads and onto the undercut. Install the short threaded ends of the double-ended locking screw studs into the bonnet. Use a small pipe wrench close to the bonnet to tighten the studs. Next, install the locking screw into the locking screw housing and install the housing over the studs. The flats on the housing flange need to be vertical in order to clear the ram chain cylinder housings on the bonnet. Finally, install and tighten the locking screw housing nuts. Seal groove of the intermediate flange and lubricate it with ram lubricant. Make sure that the hydraulic lines are in place, then close the bonnet assembly with operating pressure. An optional bonnet seal carrier may be used in some UBOPs. The operating system. First, connect the hydraulic lines to the open and close ports on the preventer body. With the bleed glands loose on the top of the bonnets, alternately apply 200 to 300 PSI open and close operating pressure to expel air from the operating system. After the air has been bled from the system, tighten the bleed plugs. With the bleed plugs closed, complete operating system testing by applying open and close hydraulic pressure to the BOP to ensure that the operating pistons and bonnets are working correctly.
buttons and close and secure the bonnet. First install the ram assembly onto the operating piston rod. Apply thread lubricant to the threads and below the head of the bonnet bolts. Then apply hydraulic pressure to the ram open connection to close the bonnets. Once the bonnets are closed, screw in and torque the bonnet bolts. Refer to Cameron Engineering Bulletin 701D to determine the correct torque settings. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.